I mean, I like a uh, bold personality. I like people that are willing to say it, say the thing that everybody's thinking but is afraid to say. I'm kind of drawn to that. Um, not just because it's exciting and taboo. I think people are always kind of drawn to the taboo, the uh, forbidden, the things that you're not supposed to say. And it's interesting with cancel culture. I know everybody uses that term, and I mean, whatever. It's, it's overused, sure. And there's people that claim that they're canceled when you know they just had like kind of an attack online or something. And it's like, all right, well, if you logged off, you're not canceled anymore. You know, it depends how deep it goes. I've seen other people, even professors that I've had, where I've lost jobs, you know, more serious, real, actual cancel culture. Um, but yeah, I think somebody like that, I think even if you look at the, he's not a poet, but the writer Adam Johnson teaches at Stanford there. He's actually a McNeese alum, shout out. He, uh, right before the kind of fervor of cancel culture and right before 2016, I think it was like 2015 or something, he wrote that book of short stories called Fortune Smile. In that book, there is a story about a pedophile who's like a recovering pedophile who's trying not to be, right? And it's very weird, very strange, very kind of out there story. And he creates like kind of immense sympathy for, for, the, for the pedophile character, right? He kind of got that in right before the cancel culture stuff. And he has a huge reputation, you know, his Pulitzer and stuff. He's got a lot of things that would save him, not ruin his career over that. But I think if he would have published that four years after, four years later than when he actually did, I don't know if they would have published it. Maybe they would have because of his reputation. He's, you know, a big name in the, in the literary fiction world. But yeah, I love that and I'm actually I embrace it and this is what made me want to start a podcast is because I was just sick of people clutching their pearls uh, about uh, artist about art you know whether it's poetry visual art you know movies people are still doing this with movies oh there's some sex scene in a movie and everybody's got like a long you know New York Times style expose about how it's awful or they needed to cut this scene out or it makes them uncomfortable and I'm just like you know sometimes you're supposed to be uncomfortable like with that story with Adam Johnson with some of these poems Bukowski I think that's one thing we love about kind of transgressive art is that it makes us a little uncomfortable and it kind of shows humanity at its worst in some senses but uh you know there's entertainment to that too and i think there's an art to showing it so to clarify there's shock for shock's sake you know it's kind of just a shock value and i think there are some people that do that and then there's not much substance underneath the initial shock but i think the great artist somebody like an adam johnson or somebody like a bukowski uses that shock to really open up our perspectives make us uncomfortable in a way that's kind of titillating 